Taylor Swift fans have been trolling Kim Kardashian on social media as they demand an apology as the two stars feud resurfaced this week. With Taylor named Time Magazine's Person of the Year this week, the star opened up about the beef with Kim and her ex-husband Kanye West. The 33-year-old said the couple took her down psychologically during an in-depth interview with the magazine. Both Kim and Kanye are yet to address the interview, reports The Mirror. But Swifties have flocked to Kim's Instagram to demand an apology for the Shake It Off hitmaker. They have also left snake emojis on Kim's page and referenced Taylor's sixth studio album Reputation. In the album, the pop singer blasted the reality star, exposing the drama between herself, Kim, and Kanye in the song Look What You Made Me Do. This week, Taylor's fans tried to push for the Skims founder to respond to the revamped feud. On one of Kim's most recent posts, advertising her latest SKKN product, one Swifty wrote, Boycott Kim's businesses. There are plenty of other businesses to support owned by women that don't tear other women down out of jealousy. Another added, You owe someone a public and private apology. And a third wrote, IDKY Kim's PR team would even attempt to post anything other than an apology right now. They really are coming for you Kim. The feud between the stars began when Kanye interrupted Taylor receiving video of the year at the 2009 MTV Video Music Awards. The rapper said, Yo, Taylor, I'm really happy for you, I'ma let you finish but Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. The feud between them was later reignited in 2016 when the rapper released his chart-topping hit Famous. In the song, Kanye said I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Why? I made that B asterisk ch famous Taylor said she did not consent to the lyrics. Kim however was later involved in the drama as she released a Snapchat call between Taylor and Kanye. The call appeared to show Taylor was on board with the song. However, it later emerged the video of the call was edited. Then came Taylor's most recent response to the drama as Taylor revealed the huge toll it took on her life. This week, almost eight years later, she told Time magazine, that took me down psychologically to a place I've never been before. I moved to a foreign country. I didn't leave a rental house for a year, she continued, I was afraid to get on phone calls. I pushed away most people in my life because I didn't trust anyone anymore. I went down really, really hard.